Hi guys, welcome back to Twinzine. We've been MIA for a while. We were in the Dominican Republic mm -hmm. for a mission trip in January. And then I was sick forever. I know. And a lot of, just a lot of life changes. I quit my job, I started a new one, so the money situation has fluctuated a bit. Yes. Um, so that kind of stopped us from buying things. So right now we're just going to show you kind of a small haul video that uh, we did when we came back for like that one week that I was feeling better. Good. Yeah. Um, so where should we start? From the beginning. Okay, so my mom missed us a lot. So we finally all had the weekend off. And we decided to go to Buffalo. Buffalo. Yes. We went to Buffalo. And um, so she took a half day because we both were off. And we went to Buffalo to two different comic places. That um, Sort of. Well, yeah, they were comic places. But one was Mark and David's. Uh, Dave and Adams. Dave and Adams. <laughs> Sorry. And um, Queen Street Bookstore. Mm-hmm. But it's a comic book store, which is really cool. So I'm going to start off with the first thing that I bought even before. Or no, I didn't buy it. I was g gifted this from a friend of my mom's. Um, she knew that I really loved Princess Leia and um, that I really, really liked Carrie Fisher. So she gave me the book, the new book, The Princess Diarist. I haven't read it yet, but I did start reading it in the car. And it seems like it's going to be a good, a good book. I think good it's, read. yeah, it's, from what I can gather so far from the first three pages, it's about, like, her experience shooting the first Star Wars movie. So, I'm excited for it. So, yeah. Thank you, Karen. I love it. <laughs> Alright. So then, oh, we're going to be doing something new. We're going to try to do something new. Um, we're going to be rating the comic book stores that we go oh, to. Oh, yeah. Um, so hopefully I'll remember, not in this video, but in subsequent videos, videos, Well, I'll try to remember to get some uh, footage of the store. Um, because we're going to be doing a rating system of the different comic book stores we go to and different um, toy stores. Um, we ran some of the past ones through our new rating system and it seems to be it seems to be good it seems to be a very fair uh, rating system yeah. um so yeah so we first went to Dave and Adams mm -hmm. and um huge store it's gi freaking enormous um it's basically a warehouse mm -hmm. it's hidden it is hidden it's a weird hidden thing in the middle of suburban if Buffalo. you haven't been there before you would miss it, yeah. and your GPS wouldn't tell you exactly where it is, so you would have to drive around to find it. But once you find it, it's, it's very totally easy it. to get to. Yes, and it's very worth it. Um, so basically, it's a big giant warehouse. It's divided into two sides. One is sports memorabilia. The other is, like, nerdy heaven. So there is tons of, um, there's... Uh, so many things, my brain is, like, overloaded. They have an arcade. They have 50-cent yes. books. They have card games. They yes. have a section in the store even to play card games. They do tournaments and stuff. Yep. They have a whole section with statues. Yes. They have vintage toys. They have vintage Star, Star Wars. Wars. Um, vintage... G.I. Joes. Yep. Have, like, a lot. Anything you can think of, they have. They have mugs. They have pop toys. They have... Uh, tw what is it? Twenty five cent comics or dollar comics? They were fifty cent comics. Fifty cent comics. They had um regular back issues. They had mm -hmm. like the they vintage had a small, sock. They did have a small selection of current back issues, they did. but not what I was looking for, which was they have a small section of graphic novels. Mm hmm. Um, just really, it's a good. We got there around two. Um, and we didn't leave until five. Yeah. And we just looked through everything. Like, all of us. Like, my mom and my dad. Yeah. All of us. We were just, like, 
They're just searching. We spent a good bulk of it just going through the 50 cent books because you never know what you're going to find. Really. You really don't. You don't know. Um, um, I struck out on the comic book front just because money's been a little tight because of the job switch. Yep. Um, so I was not spending money on... Well, I wasn't going to spend any money on books. I wasn't really going to spend any money. I just wanted to go on the trip. And, of course, I ended up with things. Um, but it's okay. Yeah, it's all right. I'm going to start, if that's okay with you. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, Jess found... I did. I've was... been looking for these figures for quite some time. And I say quite some time. This is, I think, the third wave of, of Rogue, Rogue One. One. This is the Jin Erso in the military... Yeah. We got we got that one. I was very excited to find them. Yeah. Um, I literally kind of wandered off from our parents because they were looking at the 50 Cent comics and I kind of got a little bit bored there in a minute. So I was like, I'm going to go check out the Star Wars toys and I found them. So I grabbed one for me and one for her and I was like, look yeah. what I found. So that was, that was, that was the beginning of me. And then I went to see where she got them to see if they had better paint job, different sculpt, whatever. And I found K2SO. I saw him at Toys R Us mm -hmm. and I did not get him. And I've regretted it ever since because I loved him. He was so funny. This quirky, Alan Tudyk voiced robot. It was so funny. So I had to get that. Then we get to... We get to the vintage stock. We get to the vintage toys. And I wore this t-shirt kind of by accident. But it's appropriate for what I'm going to show you next. I have been kind of collecting the vintage Kenner toys loose. Um, so I got... I was... Our local store, local toy store, doesn't has one, but she's yellow. And for some reason, I just couldn't pop on it. But that's okay, because I got I got her this time. With the jacket. She did not come with the blaster. They had some, though, with, there, the with the blasters. With all the accessories. And I just, I, I would lose the blaster. That extra $10, $15 wouldn't have, it wouldn't have worked for me. I would have lost it and I would have been mad. So she has the full, the full little jacket on so I was kind of really excited about that. I have now this one. I have Bespin Leia mm -hmm. and I also have Boosh. Oh yeah with the little head thing mm -hmm. with the mask. So I was excited. I picked um, the Hoth Leia because I actually have the card back for this one um, that the local guy at the, our local toy shop kind of gifted to me um, after mm -hmm. hours and hours of just Chatting. standing there talking to him. Um, because sometimes when I'm lonely, I go over there and I chat with them all the time. So I picked up the Hoth Leia. She, I picked out, um, I would say the best looking one there. You did. Um, I'm very particular about my figures. If the face is busted, I'm not going to get it. Um, but she looks good. Um. Yeah, she doesn't look discolored or anything, and I was just like, yes. Yeah. So I kind of want to display it in like a shadow box with the card back and then her just kind of standing. Mm -hmm. So we shall see about that. That's a good idea. Sometimes I have great ones, yeah. and sometimes not so much. Oh, I'm not. She's here, not done here, yet. Here I am thinking I'm done. I'm not. No. Um, no she's so not. I went a little, not ham, but I got a nice little run that Erica found for me mm -hmm. of, I used to, okay, <laughs> I love that this is going to preface with a story before she shows the stuff. Well, I mean, I'm a 90s kid, 1990, what up, and when we were little, we used to, li we used to listen to, we used to watch this TV show, so when I came across the comic books, or when she came across the comic books, she was like, oh my gosh, do you want these, and I was like... So I have a run of Captain Planets. Not a complete. I am missing some. So I do have um, number two, number five, number six, number eight, 
number 10, number 11. <laughs> These are so great. They're I love so them. 90s. And number 12, the final issue. So I'm excited. I will try to complete this run mm -hmm. because I need them in my life. They're just awesome. They just, they're, they're so 90s-tastic. It's like the nostalgia hit me and I was mm -hmm. like, yes, and they were only 50 cents. So I was like, yeah. how can I not take them for 50 cents each? So and they had a ton of them. They did. Like I, you could literally go through and pick out the best ones mm -hmm. because they just had, they had all a load, them. a huge load of them. They did, and that was awesome. So I'm happy with those. Um, my mom found me an Archie comic book that's Betty. Um, if you don't know now, we love Archie. We do. We uh, grew up on Archie comics and Sabrina comics and Josie and the Pussycat and a Cheryl Blossom, Betty yeah. and Veronica, Betty and Veronica Digest. Have you guys been watching Riverdale? If you haven't, get on it. It's good. I actually thought it was going to be super lame, but I gave it a shot. And I'm glad. I look forward to that every single week, believe yeah. it or not. I'm like, is it Thursday yet? Is it? Is it? Yeah, it's good. It's good. So, now I need to find the rest of the story arc because now I just realized that it is um, the conclusion to A Storm Over Uniforms, part five and six. So you need one and two, three and four. Yep. <laughs> So, you know, challenge accepted. Yep, always. And then... Yes. Uh, uh, I wasn't gonna get it, but... So, okay. This place has back issues. Mm -hmm. Like, vintage back issues, modern back issues. And they're mm -hmm. usually, like, they'll have a price marked on them, and then there's a sign, and then they'll say they're 50% off. True. They're comic books. Yeah. So, so okay. So we, <laughs> I know words. We have gone to another place, and we've mentioned that they have they're not bagged and boarded, and it's not worth the money, and they feel like they're overpriced. But here they're bagged. Well, they're not bagged, they're but they're boarded, a, and they're in mylar. So I yeah. feel like I'm okay with that. It's okay. I that's okay. They treat them like they should, so I'm okay with the price they're charging. Yeah, me too. It makes sense. The other but, place though does not make any sense. I wasn't gonna get this, but it was on my wish list, like my holy grail list, um, because I mm -hmm. love me Barbara Gordon, and I ha I feel like I have this connection with her, um, just through personal things, and I, ha I felt like I needed to get this uh, first appearance, and it's her first appearance as Oracle. So, I was really excited. I was looking to get this one at um, the Comic-Con we went to, Wizard World Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. but they didn't have this one, so I ended up getting the first Suicide Squad there that was signed. Um, but this one's the one I really, really wanted, so I was like, Mom, what do you think? Should I get it? It's $20. Like, you know, this plus this plus this is a pretty penny. And she was like, well, it's on your list. It's, a, it's in good condition. And you, like, is this the first time you've seen it? And I was like, yeah. She was like, well, then get it. Duh. Mm -hmm. Like, it was a no-brainer. And I'm like, okay, Mom. I'll get it. So she got it. I'm so excited. First Oracle. Makes me so happy. Because let's be real. The first appearance of Batgirl is a little out of my price range. Yeah. So. But I'm good with Oracle. She's the bomb. All right. I mean, how can you not? Yeah, and then we went to Queen Street. Yes. Books. Um, that place was awesome. It was. It's it was tiny, but, but it it's chock filled. full with, with a ton of stuff. And the way that he had them organized actually made sense. It did. Once you knew the system, you are like, duh, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, it made sense. He had mm -hmm. them Marvel DC Independence and then yeah. intermixed. Um, and then he had, um... And it was so cute. Like, it was a cute little... I mean, it's it was tiny, but it was... It was... Like, the the guy was super helpful and really nice. He was really nice. Um, I was looking at... He had... Behind the counters, he had cases, and he had, like, pricier back issues there, and then he also had, like, the variant covers mm -hmm. um, behind the register, which was cool. Um, I looked at a Jessica Jones variant cover, but then I realized that I already had it, so I didn't get it. Um, 
So it was cool. Um, they had a a um, what is it called? It was like the animated series Femme Fatales, the new one that came out, mm -hmm. and they had it, but they were it was on reserve for someone. They only had one, and I was like, dang it! It's literally the only thing that like caught my eye. It's cool because it's a tiny place mm -hmm. in the middle of Buffalo, but not just in the middle of Buffalo. It's by the university, yeah. So it's like in a middle like of a a college cool town, little town. So it's kind of hipster, which I kind of like. And then down the street is a really yeah. cool chocolate shop. It's an old fashioned vintage. Soda fountain and yes. candy store. That was and you can get lunch there, so you can have lunch and dessert and read awesome. your comic books. And it's in, and it's still in like the nineteen twenties style yeah. decor. Mm -hmm. It's very it's it was cool. cool. Um, well, while we were there, I <laughs> was looking through. I just like variant covers. Um, I just like variant covers. I think they're fun. I think they're awesome. And I was going through. Archie Comics because I knew they had they just rebooted everything because they just rebooted everything words right um I've already framed this one because I saw this and I'm like oh my goodness this is awesome I'm just gonna flip it now to show you the awesomeness hopefully there's no glare there's no glare Perfect. it's Betty versus Veronica number one the mm -hmm. reboot but look at this it's like a vintage like photograph postcard no 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 it's like a book Poster? it's no it's like it's like an old like book oh yeah it's like one of those like what are the not harlequin novels drugstore c covers like of old books you know like the thrift store paperback yes that's what it looks like and i think that is so cool it almost looks like it has like a leather spine it's a it's a worn in spine like it's been oh, read so okay. much that it's like gritty and I just thought it was awesome because, like, look at Veronica. Like, I've always fancied myself as a Veronica, but after reading this storyline, I'm Team Betty. <laughs> I'm just saying it. Just, okay. So I got that one. And then I got issue number two, the Kevin Wada cover. I'm a big fan of Kevin Wada. I basically picked up the She-Hulk um, run because of the covers. So I had to get that, and I read the story, and it's amazing. Um, like I said, I'm Team Betty. Woot woot, Veronica. I don't know where I don't know where you're at with that. I, I haven't don't... read it yet. Only two issues, and I still haven't read it. Yeah. So I might do that tonight. And then the only thing that I picked up from this store, um, because I felt like I needed it in my life. Yes. And I tend to read my graphic novels more than my single issues. In single issues, unless. Um, those are the only ones that I can get, like the Captain Planet ones. Once I get yeah. the whole run, I'm going to read all of them. Yeah. So, I ended up picking up Snot Girl. We had to. I don't know if you know this or not, because we don't really show you our normal weekday, um, like Wednesday pickups. That mm -hmm. usually kind of just goes in our long, like in our short boxes yeah. after we've read them. This book, though... This book, when I found out that this was getting made, mm -hmm. my sister told me about it. Yep. Read the first issue and was instantly obsessed. Yep. Um, I don't think I've shown you guys, but I do have the convention exclusive do cover. Do you get it? Um, when I found out about Snot Girl, let's bring it back. Yes. Um, I went online. She kind of lost her mind a little bit. Yeah, it wasn't, I don't know. I got the convention exclusive. Snot Girl cover, but if you see, it's signed by Leslie and Brian. And I paid a decent amount, but not too much. It was still kind of affordable. And this literally, I mean, this hangs above my bed. It does. Because I love it so mm -hmm. much. Like, I think the story's awesome, the art is awesome. It's also signed by them, which makes me really happy. Um, so when that book came out, I, everyone I've talked to who don't read comics who doesn't people who don't read comics <laughs> words oh my goodness it's been a long day um i tell them about this so like girls who would normally not read comics mm -hmm. i tell them about this book and they've actually gone and purchased it and they're yeah. like oh my goodness i got them into comics yeah and they're because like, of snot girl i know and then they're like is there anything else and yeah. you're like let me show you the world right right 
And I just True think story. it's so awesome. And I had to get this graphic novel. Yes. And then, of course, when the Barnes & Noble's exclusive uh, one came out, uh, we had to get it I too. had to get it, too. My friend, another friend, I turned her on to the graphic novel. Yes. And, I mean, like, it's so... Okay. It's so well-priced, it's not even funny. Are you Ten for bucks. Ten bucks Actually, for a graphic novel. This one was seven. Yeah, he, he had a deal. He was yeah. saying that it was... 20% off of graphic novels, so mm -hmm. when he said that, I was like, what? What the what? And I got it, because I was going to walk out of there without it, and when he told me that, I was like, bring it up. I need this. Yes. Yeah. I mean, so, right? I mean, how can you not love... I mean, look at that. Look at that. A comic book about a blogger with green hair. I know. <laughs> right? I mean, come on. Okay, I'm just going to say this and be done with it. I have been searching for that poster, that promotional poster, forever. Every person, or every person, every comic book shop that I go into, I ask if they have it. Yeah. And they're, and like, they're like, oh, no. no, we threw it out. What do you mean you threw it out? I would have taken it. Ah. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rant over. That's... It wasn't It wasn't a rant. It was more like a mini rant. It was a mini rant. But, I mean, right. This book, if you haven't picked up Snot Girl, do it. I hope you do. It's good. Like, get, you can get past, like, the pinkness. If you can read Scotty Young's I Hate Fairyland, this is nothing like it. <laughs> <laughs> but the art is amazing and it's just as colorful. And it, the story is just ridiculous. And it's, I mean, ridiculous in a good way. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nippers. All right. Yeah. So, do you want to do favorite? We haven't done this in a while. I know. So it's like, do you want to do, how do we want to do this? Okay, yeah. So favorite you, one of each other's? Yes. Paul? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's kind of difficult because I kind of have everything you have. I mean, do you though? I mean, you kind of do. I kind of I mean, do. But, maybe. I would have to say this cover. Right? I mean, I mean, right. I'm happy with the one that I got because I... Oh, she was looking for that. I was looking for the cover that I got. I don't know if I showed you guys or not. It was the Genevieve cover, and I, um... I lost my train of thought. She saw it. I was it. looking for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, so when we were coming back from South Carolina for, um, a trip that we took with our parents our to family. go visit our grandparents, we stopped in Pittsburgh, and I saw it. And I was like, oh, this is cute, but I ended up not getting it for some dumb reason. And then... She's been looking for it ever since. So I found it. So I, I picked that one up, and then... When I saw this one, though, I was like... Yeah. I'm like, I know exactly where it's going. It's going in a frame and hanging in my wall. Yeah. My room is a bit of a mess. Yeah. And I say that because it my walls are, like, a huge mess. Um, we'll fix it, and then maybe painted. we'll do a room tour once she gets all of her art sorted, because yeah. she has some really good art, which I think if you have seen our videos previous, mm -hmm. you've they seen might them. be in there, so, seen them. you know. But they're not framed. Not yet. They need to be framed. Yeah. I'm excited that I got a new job so I can afford to frame my art. <laughs> Isn't The struggle is the real. The struggle of adulting is real. Um, Isn't that the truth, man? Yeah. All right. So what's my favorite thing? Mm. I don't know. I would have to say Hoth Leia because that's the only one I'm missing. I... No. They're coming out I'm with missing... the Funko one of her. Oh. And I need it in my life. I don't know when it's coming out, but I need it. Yeah. But I like I like these Kenner figures. I'm starting to get really into them. I want the loose one. We're just going to call them stars. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we were trying to be cute. We were going to call them heroes, heroes but then but... we got confused and that doesn't work. You so can't we're... you can't give someone half a hero that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. All right. So, we would we decided that you can get stars. Oh. <laughs> I almost said it. Um by meeting certain criteria. So, customer service, vibe of the store, pricing, and is it worth your time? Not only just going to travel there, but also taking the time to look around the store and browse. Because sometimes you may go and it's not worth your time. Um, I've been to those stores where it's not worth your and time. And it's very disappointing because you expect it to, to be awesome. 
And then it's a huge letdown, you mm -hmm. know? When the owner's like, let me check eBay prices, you're like, <laughs> okay. No. Not okay. Not okay. Um, so Dave and Adams. Yes. It's okay. Oh, and then we do one star just for the, for being able to even go to the location. Um, just because we find it, we would, we found it mean if we just didn't give anybody, give any, anybody stars. any stars. Um, because we don't want to be mean. That's not, that's in the spirit of keeping things positive and hoping, like, we might have had a bad experience. We hope that mm -hmm. if you do decide to go there, your experience, your experience would be better, better than ours. You know, but if it's a five out of five stars, then yeah, let's yeah. all go. Yeah. All right. So David Adams. Yes. One for being there. One. Vibe of store. We decided to give it a half. Only, Only because, because of the um, sports side, which we're not a fan of sports at all. It took up a ton of space. Which is great if that's your thing. Yeah. But it's not our thing. That's just a personal preference. Um, mm -hmm. Also, well, we'll get to that. But part of the vibe of the store for me is also, like, the look and feel of the store. Mm -hmm. And although they have great stuff. Yeah, they do. Um, actually, what I was going to say is not valid. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, pricing. I said we gave it half of a star. Because yes. some things were greatly priced. Yes, and some things were a little, crazy. like, crazy. Like, some of those back-issue books, for for meh-conditioned books, crazy money, even at half price. And I'm not about that kind of life. Um, customer service, I also gave them a half star. Yes. Only because the staff was slightly unfriendly. Not yeah. unfriendly to the point of they didn't come talk to us at all. Yeah. But, like, you had to chase them down. I'm not about that life where I have like, to, I'm like, beg to... someone to help me. You know? Like, I'm a serious shopper. You know? And I want to, like, be paid... Not paid attention to. It's more like, you know... I, it would be... It's kind of nice if they're kind of, like, aware that you're around the store. And if you need help, you can flag them down easy. I mean, like, these Star Wars figures... Like, these, like, Kenner figures... Yeah, they were behind a case. They were behind a case. And they had to wait great. for 15 minutes. No, I went up to that case three different times. Mm -hmm. And no one came over. Yeah. I had to go find them. I don't want to... I don't want to make it seem like they're bashing... Like, we're bashing them because they're not. Like, they were helpful. Yeah, once you got but, them, they were really helpful. Okay. They were friendly. This is what I mean by the vibe of the store. I got back to my train of thought. It is such a huge place that yes. finding anybody was difficult. Yeah. So, I love that it's big because they can fit more things and you can find more things. But when you understaff the store... I understand it's expensive, but... It's a problem. And then, is it worth your time? We said yes. Heck yes. yes. It's totally worth your time. Um, so we gave this whole place three and a half stars. And I say that was fair because our experience was decent, mm -hmm. but the load of stuff in this store. I mean, they had like... They had like 20 of those. Yeah. So I could pick the best they one. They had a blue snaggle tooth. They had sets of vintage everything. Mm -hmm. Star and Wars. You could literally handpick the one you wanted. You could literally have the whole set of original 12 if yeah. you wanted. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, they're loose, but they had ones with all of the pieces. All of the pieces. So you, you could pick. pick. You could pick. You can mix and match and pick the best set you wanted, which yep. I think is awesome. I do not have Queen Street. I'm sorry. We didn't do that one. We didn't? Nope. Oh, snap. I thought we did. Um, but Queen Street was awesome. All of it was awesome. All right, so let's do that it real quick. That would have been a five star. One for being there. Yes, one for being there. Customer service was great. Customer service, two. Vibe of the store. It is so freaking cute, it's not even funny. It's so little, It's but little, awesome. but it's awesome. And you can tell that it's a neighborhood shop. Yes. Which is awesome, because... Well, because we were when we were there, you know, like, people would come in, and he'd be like, Hey, Joe, what's up? Or, Hey, Bill, did you get this? Oh, let yeah. me put you down for this. Like, yeah. it was... Yeah, I love it. I like I places like that. like that because you can tell that he really loves his job. Mm -hmm. I think he was the owner of the store. And he was not only genuinely nice, but he was very helpful. Like, he I'm... Was. You cannot tell because we're sitting down. But 
I'm short. five. I'm five one on a good day. So reading, reaching something on the top shelf is difficult. Difficult. He offered to get me a step stool if I wanted. He offered to get it down for me. He was just really nice. Mm -hmm. Vibe of store, awesome. Pricing was act like it was. It was fair. It was fair. Like the variant covers and stuff were like the Marvel variant covers that have you know like they were they make, cover? They were cover price. I think they were cover price. They were like anything that were like rare, and when I say rare, like one in ten or whatever. Those he had behind the counter, and yeah. those he even those he had priced fairly well. Yeah. And then is it worth your time to travel? Yes. If you're in Cleveland, Buffalo, Buffalo. Mm -hmm. Sorry, we go to Cleveland more often than Buffalo. If you're in Buffalo, it's definitely worth your time. Worth your time. For both of them. Yeah. So, five out of five. That one gets a five out of five stars because it was awesome. Mm -hmm. But see, my parents went there. Yes. And they had a less than experience mm -hmm. because the people who were at the store. See, so, I mean, this is just our personal experiences. So, we're obviously rating them off of our personal experiences. Our personal experiences. Um, so, yeah. All right. So... We have to say goodbye to you folks. We hope it's not so long next time. Yes. We'll try to get posting more consistently. I hope to actually do a collection video. You so yeah, so hopefully we'll do that. Maybe we'll do like a top five of our favorite um, collectibles. collectibles that we own. Mm -hmm. um, we'll get better at posting consistently. We'll try to make this a little better. Yes. Um, we just gotta find the right place. So yeah, so thanks for hanging out with us again. Um, Thank you for listening to our rambles. Sorry that I keep saying, um, it's been a while. Yes. So, yeah. So thanks for joining us again for the 15,000th time. Um, hope you guys had a great Pi Day. I know I did because we were dead at work because of the Stormageddon. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy your day. Bye, guys. See ya.